Hi folks, Jim Huss here speaking with you from sunny Sanford, Florida. Our truck just got back from a 3,000 mile round trip from Florida to New York and New Jersey, making deliveries and service calls on the way. And when they got to New Jersey, they picked up one of the most beautiful 1969 B3s with two 122 Leslie speakers with consecutive serial numbers. For those of you who are passionate about having two Leslies, and even maybe more passionate about having two Leslies that came out of the factory on the same day, maybe within hours of each other, consecutive serial numbers like number one and number two, although they weren't the first ones out of the factory, I'm not implying that, but to me and Randolph and some of the guys here at Keyboard Exchange, that stuff is just, it's really cool stuff. Now there's just gonna be a handful out of you, of you out there that would agree with that thinking, what's this guy talking about? <laughs> but for us, that's really cool. You know, it's kind of like the history of the equipment. It got purchased, you know, by the people we got it from in 1969 or maybe 1970, but the organs made in 1969. And two Leslie's from the factory, brand new out of the box, into their home, into this truck, and soon to be into the showroom of Keyboard Exchange International, so if you want two Leslie's so for a large room or just to have, this is the time. This is something really, really special. Now the 1969 B3 in itself is extra bright, extra strong. We're going to have to take the foam out of the keyboards, but stay tuned because there's more information coming up immediately within this video. God bless. Well, hey, Randolph, we're here today uh, showing off, if you will, yes. an instrument that you drove round trip 3,000 miles to obtain. Yes. Now, you did have a few other tasks and things that needed to be done along the way. Right. But really, the one of the main points was to get this uh, beautiful Hammond organ. B3 with these two matching Leslie's and, and you when you got back from your trip you were saying there was a lot of sentimental attachment oh, yes. from the sellers on this one. Yeah so I can uh, as I reflect back to the day that we picked the organ up um, when we uh, we greeted the sellers and uh, you know they showed us where the organ was located and uh, by the time you know me and my helper, Kim, started, you know, Dolly and the organ up. The daughter of uh, the original owner, she began to cry and she had to leave, actually leave the house or whatever, because it's just like a, I guess like a family member. It's like, a, it, it was a family heirloom. Yes. And uh, in the days when I would go to people's homes and pick up the organs, I encountered that situation from yes. time to time. I don't know if I would say often, but enough to know that there's a lot of sentimental attachment to these instruments. Yes. And, and that's one reason why we doubly appreciate the families that are willing to sell us their family heirlooms. Yes. Because they get to a point where they realize this type of instrument, while sentimentally tremendously priceless, needs to be utilized by musicians and in churches and so forth. So. If it's not being used, folks, and you have one in your family and you would like to find a new home for it, we can uh, help you with that process. We basically would buy it from you and, and, uh, and then spend it as long as it takes to find a good home for it. But to shorten up that time that it takes to find a good home, <laughs> we're showing people this organ before we've even done the internal restoration. That's just to let, let you guys know that it's available. Because there's somebody out there, maybe several somebodies, that see this and they know, oh my gosh, this is just what we've been looking for. Yes. And if they've listened to your recent video where you were playing number 341. Yes. It'll be a similar sound, pretty similar sound. Uh, the later years of the manufacture of the B3 with the engraved draw bars mm -hmm. and so forth. 
Yeah, so this is a very special instrument. Uh, we haven't uh, really touched the organ. I believe they polished the Leslie's and cleaned them up a little bit, but the organ is just original uh, the way we got it. We will, of course, clean it and detail it and go through and do the normal uh, restoration protocol, which is rather extensive. Even though it looks like new, there's a lot still that needs to be done to it, but in, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks or a month or so, we'll um, be able to let you hear this one. And I'm looking forward to hearing it myself. Maybe what we'll do is we'll hook it up in like next week and just see what it sounds like before the restoration. Yes, you'll probably hear it before then if that right customer gives us a call and, let, and say, hey, this is what I want. If you're you looking right for up. the last years, the bright years with two matching uh, 122 speakers, you don't have to get two 122s. If you only want one, we'll find you another one. These, we want to keep these together. They belong to be together. Yeah, because in fact, they have consecutive serial numbers. That's right. They came down the assembly line, and here was one, and here was the other one. They behind it, you know. That's rare. Very. I've only seen that a few times. So, folks, if you're interested in something special. In addition to considering the one we saved from the California fires, yes. even Wolf Blitzer was talking about it. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks for your time and attention, folks. We, like some of you, are eager to hear what this organ sounds like. And any uh, last-minute final comments before we start playing? Randolph? I think we said it all. We, are, we covered most of it, all that needs to be covered. God bless you all. Looking forward to uh, the next video, upcoming video, where you'll be able to hear this as, as well as us just talking about it. Take care now. I wanted to do a quick follow-up on number 445, inventory number 445, which we are made to believe that it's a 1969-68 uh, right on the line we're still trying to figure that out uh, maybe you guys out there in cyberspace could uh, give us some input on that uh, we're made to believe uh, like I mentioned that it's a 1969 because uh, the engraved draw bars and it doesn't have that groove on the side uh, which if you turn the camera here, we have number 341, which is also a 1969 uh, with engraved draw bars, but it has the groove on the side. So we're still trying to figure that out. Um, some of the distinctions that we have is the, we have the fluted uh, vibrato knob. The organ is red capped. Of course, the pilot light. So you, we're definitely going to get that bright sound that a lot of you guys desire. Uh, I hear a lot of guys mention, I want to, I want to organ that screams, I want to organ that screams. So uh, I think this will be a wonderful instrument. And, uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jim Huss speaking with you from the showroom at Keyboard Exchange International. We'd like to thank all of you who have helped us grow our business for the past 51 years. And it is our intent to find good homes for all the instruments we have gathered uh, from all over the United States. Thank you to the families that have preserved the instruments and then sold them to us knowing that we would find good homes for them. If you, on the other hand, are in need of an instrument, please give us a call. Uh, there's been a lot of effort to gather these instruments together and we would like to make you part of the Keyboard Exchange International family. Let's all work together to keep these fine instruments going long into the future so that we now and future generations can continue to enjoy the wonderful sound of the Hammond Tone Wheel Organ. God bless. Signing off.